Okay, one more thing. People have are saying around that your rivalry with him started with construction of some bridge somewhere, and it started, and then it came to a boiling point, and then you just uh, fell apart. Right. He was constructing a bridge from Sinkatin to Benoli, which was not acceptable by the people. People told him when he had a meeting, we told him clearly, you can have a footbridge, or for a light motor vehicle bridge. Which he insisted. He said, no, I want to have a 12 meter bridge. But why is the why is the opposition? So when the people objected, I stood by the people. I told him very clearly, we are not going to have the bridge 12 meters. Light motor vehicle, fine. We will have no objection to it. But he insisted. When he insisted, even I insisted. Okay, I said, let's see how far you can go. And I managed to stop the bridge. That was the my main aim, like you know, to teach him a lesson that he can't boss over everybody. So basically, started with your ego. Yeah, yeah. I started mainly because of that. I challenged him and I told him, I will sit against you and topple you. But it was your ego that which came up and then you thought... Ego uh, means I wanted to teach him a lesson. Like, you know, there is someone to stand by and say, yeah, I will defeat you. <laughs> okay, one more thing. Navalim Kospensi, right now you are independent. You contested with the support of BJP. Do you think that you will be able to retain this constituency? 100%. Why do you think? So I am working for the people. and. Within a short time, you'll see the development work that is taking place in Navili. First government, what they should do? They should just put their hand in anything. Whereas this government, we just don't have the liberty to do everything as in how we want it to happen. Our CM is there, he takes good control of everything. So we go through proper channels. And to get everything in the proper channels, it takes time. So it took me nearly a year to get all my projects passed. Now after rains, you see the work that I'm doing. In what are the projects that you intend to take? I in? have many projects. Many projects I have in mind. So you will see face of Navalim constituency change. change. By next season, sure. Okay. What is your equation with Alemo right now after elections? See, I have nothing against him. If I meet him anywhere, I wish him. There is nothing against him like that. Okay. With Alemo's uh, family not in the politics, you are considered as yet another giant who is taking, who, who in the South Goa. Right. Do you agree that you are a giant? Giant, I don't know what way you rate me as a giant, because of my height or what, I don't know. <laughs> but to tell you, I have not thrown my weight anywhere around like that. I, will not, I have not ruled with a stern hand, nothing like that. I have been very friendly with everybody and I wanted to continue like that. Where there is no fear between the politician and the people. Whereas my people feel very free to come and talk to me. But it is common man's perception that you cannot win elections in Navalim without muscle power at least. No, I don't think so. Now muscle power is not required. Money power? Money power too not required, certainly not. Without BJP's support, you would have been able to win this constituency? No, not exactly. I needed some support from BJP. And with BJP's help, I have gone through. When actually, before election, BJP uh, came to you and said, okay, we are supporting you. No, I went near uh, Honorable CM. I told him, sir, I want to contest. Whereas, when I first met him, he just looked at me and said, you want to contest against Churchill? I said, yes, sir. Whereas, first two, three times, he just gave me a negative answer. We'll see later, we'll see later. Then one final day, I, one final day, I told him, like, sir, what do you intend doing? Tell me. Are you supporting me or without your support also I am going to sit. So you give me a clear cut decision. Then he said, okay, I will support you, you go ahead. So from that day onwards I said, okay, now there is no turning back. I start my war. People have not understood one thing. There are five independents who are supporting government. But you are the one who has become a minister. Why? That depends on CM because he wanted me as a minister, he must have made me a minister. You asked for this uh, ministerial post? In fact, what happened was, soon after the election, the next day, uh, Honorable CM called me and he told me, he asked me what you intend doing after winning. I said, sir, if I win, I will surely support you. So that's the day he told me very clearly, even if I get the majority, even if there are 25 seats, I will make you a minister in my cabinet. But if you had a choice between BJP and Congress that time then? No. If I was given a choice, I would have surely back BJP. 100%. Because the mystery that the Congress have done was too much. Why do you think that this entire Catholic population stood by BJP during last state assembly election? That's what I told you. No? What uh, Congress was doing was really too much. And people didn't accept. You know, it was really beyond limit. 
people wanted a change anyhow they wanted a change so people elected me and you can say most new faces i have been seeing now in this election no that's what precisely what i am trying to ask you is that last election people wanted a change that's why they elected you next election they may not you know so be uh, with bjp they will feel ki congress is better in that circumstances what would be your stand how that depends how we rule the state i don't think so we will uh, we require like 100% people will stay with us so you are happy with bjp yeah i am happy with it. when we spoke about helmet you said we are we were young and that's why we wanted to you know show that we are young there is there are also young alemaus who are coming into politics are you not afraid of them because they also have a lot of people who actually follow them certainly i am not afraid of any one of them they are not welcome any more in navali like now if you ask me for the next election if chachil wants to come back i will certainly say no because he doesn't belong to navali there are so many other people in my constituency who can really stand up and contest for election so i have no objection if anybody comes and contests the election against me but certainly not churchill again anyway okay one when you spoke of helmet thing when you that time you said ki we are very young that's why you wanted to you know tell the world that young people have come also there are young alemaus who are who are in the political fray are you not worried or afraid about them no no not at all if you ask me a clear cut question i'll tell you they were the main uh, cause of like you know because they wanted to come into politics that the senior alemaus have gone out so that's a people defeated uh, senior alem yeah yeah because they have seen the mistake what their parents have done the fathers have done so people uh, certainly didn't want the other gen- the younger generation to come up and do the same thing that's why the ho- i mean the, all four of them went up so you mean to say people had preconceived notion about these alema family and that's why they voted them certainly okay one more aspect when you when you are campaigning against churchill you spoke so much about pwd scam now also people talk about pwd scam but now when you are in power we have never seen you talking about this scam or insisting to chief minister this scam should be investigated why just give us some more time we have investigated truly and what all he has done just give us some more time and you see if he is not behind bars so you mean to say you will be pressing for sure, that or sure we are, we are all pressing for that even his uh, rival, alema i mean valanka's rival kaitu we all want to see him punished because... so who, who all are lobbying together one is you another is kaitu yeah we we two are interested in that miki is not with you that i can't tell you but uh, kaitu and myself are very much pressing the cm to get all his mysteries up but you have kept your close uh, cards close to your heart you are not telling what you are going to do no. that will see what cm has to do but certainly he will be will punished that is for 100% sure okay lok sabha elections you will have your own stand about in lok sabha elections or you will stand by what bjp uh, can, bjp says in this uh, south goa constituency i will stand by my bjp candidate what kind of candidate you expect from the bjp i want someone who will really work for the people you know like who will who will be there with the people you also want a catholic candidate to be fielded i don't know it depends on cm who he selects so whoever he selects i am with them you think that they will they should take you into confidence before deciding a candidate if possible yeah why not no but you feel that they should take it or you, if you are not taken into confidence then also it is fine with you. it is fine with me i will support the bjp candidates okay one more important thing when you talk about now elim constituency when you talk about development much development has been done people have seen widened roads other things so what kind of development that you are talking about right now at present see my need of the hour is the bypass navel is very congested during peak hours time especially during morning and afternoon school hours So I have uh, proposed a bypass road from Fradle to Ravanfon, where all heavy traffic will be diverted that side. So that's my priority. So very soon I am starting that the uh, acquisition is done. Then I have acquired a sixty thousand land close to uh, Navalny Library, where there I am proposing to have ten thousand only for religious ceremonies during Ganesh time, or Christmas time, or Eid time. That will be used only during those time. and 25000 place i'm keeping for any shows then i'm having a indoor stadium with a swimming pool and all indoor games 
a basketball court, a volleyball court. And most of the place I'll be keeping for parking. And right around I'll be having a joggers track. Then side by side, in the close to the library, I've acquired land for a substation. Then underground cabling. A lot of overhead tanks, then, I mean, three community halls. A lot of things there. What is the deadline for completion of all these projects? Uh, it should give me another year or so. One year or so. The only thing I'm saying is because of the acquisition. Acquisition will take a long time. But uh, I should, because uh, I have approached most of the people who this land belongs to, and they have said, you go ahead, we will give you the NOC. So if that is done, then I think I should be able to complete the projects very fast. Okay, last question. Uh, earlier in the interview, you said you would have loved to be a sports minister, but now you are not a sports minister. But still, according to you, do you feel that sports minister is doing fairly good job or he should do something else and something more for the state of Goa? He is really doing a good job. And far as I have sat and spoken to him, he has a lot of ideas. And I think he'll do good. Okay, this, with this we end our interview. We have with us Avedan Furtado, is Fisheries Minister in Parikar Cabinet. One thing he clarified at the start of the interview is that he is not related to the person who is allegedly involved in raping uh, a minor girl in Vasco. One more thing he clarified was that he feels sorry for not wearing helmet and then he has corrected his mistake. One important political statement he made uh, during our interview was that he will not let Alemau's at least to come in Navalim constituency because he feels that the people from Navalim constituency should contest in Navalim constituency. Thank you very much for joining us for this interview. You are watching Counterpoint, your own interview series that you watch at 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. on Monday. Keep watching Prudent.